No, your enemy, and shut your mouth! Hey folks, I'm Serious JG. welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect Andromeda. Uh, last time we wrapped up Jaws' uh, loyalty mission, so we won Jaws' loyalty. Now it's time to, um... Well, Liam Costa Community, we could go with Liam to Patromus. Maybe we should do that, actually, real quick, before we do our next major uh, task, which is going to be... The Mysterious Remnant Signal and PB's Loyalty Mission. Now, once we get PB's Loyalty, she is the last... And this makes sense when you think about it. She is the last squad member. She's like the hyper-individualist who is constantly fighting the urge to leave the group. She would be the last uh, squad member, especially since we didn't have sex with her in the uh, airlock, to find loyalty for Ryder. I wonder if you can have a real serious romance with PB. I'm almost positive you can. Um, it would be kind of interesting, actually, if they wrote in a character who clearly... You know, the the uh, male sci-fi nerds, and I suppose um, some of the female sci-fi nerds are supposed to be into, um, who does flirt with you, but is just not actually going to date you, regardless of what you do. That would be interesting, but it's, they're not going to do that. Um, but anyway, yeah, let's uh, let's get PB's loyalty mission. After that, with missing arcs being one where I've now finally uh, am aware that we need to, we need to do the next major plot mission to complete that. I'm under the impression that we can't do any more with Ryder Family Secrets now. Like, I think these are all things that are waiting for us to do the next plot mission. So, PB's uh, loyalty mission will kind of be the end of us having reasons not to do the next plot mission. But, oh, let's also do this. Uh, never mind, time didn't advance because I uh, shut off the game. We could do more strike team missions, of course. We should succeed in all these except possibly the gold ones. Well, we failed in that. Was that a gold one? That was only a silver one. Wow. Then we failed in the gold one, but we didn't get any negative traits out of it, so. All right. Rewards. Let's look at our research data. We only got one research data loot box out of all that? I thought I... We must have failed all the ones that had research data loots. Because I tried to grab all the ones with research data loot. And we got Helios, so it wasn't a complete waste. But I don't care about any of the rest of these, really. Certainly not the um, the credits. So let's see. Research data, we'll put a team on that. Research data, we will put a team on this. Research data, we will put a team on this. Research data, we will put a team on this, and hopefully we kept one with some opportunity to win behind. So now we're down to two teams that are left. So we'll go for the gold missions in the th thought that their rewards might be slightly worth getting. We can quick go to our inventory. Anything that we have new, we have a new assault rifle. Which we don't need. We have new armor. Wait, no, that's not what I meant to do. We have new armor. Initiative spear point armor. You know, it might be that we've reached the point where gathering all the initiative spear point stuff will give us a better... Hmm. We're getting a 15%. So a bunch of 9% individual components would probably stack up better. But I don't really care. They might, I don't know. They, I don't know how, how those things stack. They might not stack 9% plus 9%. They might like be prorated in some way. But no, they probably do. So I probably should have kept that and thought about putting on a bunch of, uh, instead of the deep space armor. But at this point, it also has the plus 5% weapon damage. And we've been using this deep space armor for a long time. I, I pretty much think of that now as, you know, that's what our freaking um, writer, that's how he dresses. He'd actually, it would actually be really weird now to switch to the scavenger armor, which has this, like, darker look. If you deconstructed that, it certainly wouldn't be worth it. I was just curious what it would give you. All right, so let's go to Padromus and see um, what there is to see. I'm wondering if we can actually put off, because 
we're using the gear that we couldn't that we could craft once we hit level 40. So at this point, now that we're level 54 and I never bothered to craft new stuff at level 50, I'm wondering if we can just hold out until level 60 just so I don't bother to craft new stuff. Furring. Oh, you know, the other thing we could do instead of advancing the story would be to hit all the uh, systems we haven't hit yet. I'll do, I'll at least do, um, I will at least do uh, PB's loyalty mission before we start messing around with, what can we do? Because th I feel like this might be the Reaper IFF mission of Ma like in Mass Effect 2, where potentially once you do this mission, whatever happens, it's not the end mission of the game, but it's possible that then you start getting into Lithia time system. restraints. Because with the Reaper IFF mission in Mass Effect 2, um, y there is no time pressure for you. You can take as long to do et stuff and do as many side quests as you want up until the point you do that mission. And after that mission, it's like you can do up to three missions before you start having ending and plot consequences for not advancing to the end of the game. Mass Effect 3, as you may recall, did a better job of setting up missions like you do a mission where you find out there's a bomb on uh, Tuchanka, and if you do like eight side quests before you get to the next mission that involves taking care of the bomb, the bomb goes off. Squad mates. Uh, let's take PB. Just so we've got our party. I guess we're supposed to go with Liam. But I'm wondering if you're supposed to take him with you in your party or if you're supposed to find him somewhere and talk to him. Let's try taking him down there and see if uh, see what happens. And if that doesn't work, I guess we'll try again with a different party and see if we just encounter Liam somewhere and talk to him. The scent is green. Coordinating. Path is calm. But Liam... Um, he does have a bit of a connection with Padromas. He, um, the people of Padromas, some of the named characters from Padromas were involved with his loyalty mission, after all. And he played some plot role in uh, Jal's loyalty mission of helping to prevent an attack on Padromas. Padromas really is treated as, because uh, I believe you have to do a certain amount of stuff on Padromas before you can advance the plot to having any other worlds to explore. So Padromus really does feel like the place where it makes sense that Ryder will eventually settle down with whoever he romances. You know, start a homestead and raise some kids and whatnot. Yeah, I'm just going to mosey on down to the surface of Eos. And then fade to black and then come back up again. Okay, so there's a specific place that is going to be marked for us to go to. I'm wondering if it makes a difference if you have Liam in your party or not. Let's cloak our way to the next plot point. It's right over there, Pathfinder. My little event for everyone. Oh, Liam's surprise. It's him and Jal switching clothes again. Prodromos is suited up and ready to host. Ready for the exchange, Pathfinder. Grab your civvies. Going to get hot. Oh, got it. He loves football because he's European. How did you do all this? Well, it didn't take much. A ball, flat ground. Hustle would start Yeah, what do you mean, how did you do this? This is the simplest thing it, in the world. But after the attack here and the shit with Varan's rescue, I wanted to try something. Low tech. What do you think? It's a good distraction. Why not stage a big event? No, I like this. It's good. It's good to get people's minds off of all the crap we go through. Not just that. I didn't do it to distract them. We don't get distracted. We go head on. When it's life or death, you have to. Go hard all day all night. They're here because they want to be. I didn't get how important that is. Maybe no, that I just touched my space nipples. Outsiders. Oh, no. Check the play! Free kick for charging! Good job, generic Asari. No charge for matchmaking. What? 
I need friends like you. You're a hell of an asset. How is this the serious response? We're lucky to have you. <laughs> you better believe it. We're lucky you to have you it. screwing up and starting loyalty quests to put people into trouble. Finder? This is because of you. Switch what? up. When, to get in the game. when will we get jerked to him, actually? Yeah. The Pathfinder should make an appearance. I don't remember having consciously chosen a jerky choice with this, but Try to keep up, Costa. maybe the fact that I'm a jerk don't means I it. couldn't tell. Complete rubbish. Rubbish. Blimey. So... That's probably a big romantic moment if you're a female writer. And, uh... Writer may not be female, but he is a female writer, if you get what I'm saying. Boom, boom. So that was one more, uh, one more completed mission. I guess we've completely finished his chain, because if we were romancing him, we would have played soccer and then totally got busy. From the dust, the remnant tiller. Okay, those. Those are completed, but not. Search for the still want run drive core. Okay, whatever. Know your enemy, Rider family secrets, missing arcs. Well. That uh, that whole quest line has gone away now, anyway. So I guess it's time to get it going with PB's life mission. We're going to go to Pass Ten in the Inafara system. That's crazy. That's not a planet that we already know we can explore. Maybe it'll be like uh, Liam's, uh, and there will well actually mo many of the all of them really, except for. Um, no, I guess all of them have involved new areas that are only part of that loyalty mission. It's like Mass Effect 2 style. So there's a small, self-contained, linear area that you can fight uh, through for the loyalty missions, which you can't return to later. So they, the loyalty missions work like the loyalty missions and every other mission worked in Mass Effect 2. Ascent is go. Ascent is good. <laughs> all clear. All systems green. Greener than uh, goose poop. As Stone Cold Steve Austin would say, if he was a big Mass Effect Andromeda fan, which I kind of doubt. Well, here's a system we haven't explored yet, so this would be nice. We're going way across the cluster for this one. I have to say, um, the idea that you don't have the run of the entire Andromeda galaxy is... Well, it's a breath of realism. Was that someone's name, Joel? How would I know? Shut up. Inalara is a virtue. To know your map, your course... Oh, I was thinking she was talking to... Uh, I thought she was talking to our uh, friend Super Kolo, whose name I couldn't remember until I remembered. Oh, he's he's named after some luchador. How do we even know this is called Inalara? I guess we have... Oh, maybe we have some Angaran star charts, and that's why we're now allowed to travel to systems we couldn't go to before. I apologize if that actually came up in dialogue that I talked over or missed. Because sometimes in these games, you just after you do a certain mission, a new star system becomes available, but there's no real reason why. In this game, it might make sense that you get uh, as you get closer with the Angarans, they give you local star charts. Anomaly on sensors. Uh, of course, there is. Why else would the planet exist? Oh, let's see. Uh, pass eighty-eight. I'm pass. It means peace. The dominant life form on pass eighty-eight appears to be a finger-length worm. The thrives in thin nitrogen and xenon atmosphere. Hey, ladies. Mr. Wiggles the worm is on this planet. He came out of the ground and made a focus sound. Probe. Anomaly found. 
a river. A Cat Scout vessel crashed into an on ammonia glacier on Pass 88. Though the crew died, the ship's reactor continues to emit heat, melting the glacier and creating this great river. So we got experience. I'm picking up something. Yeah, I forgot to actually do the sensor-wide scan. It's weird, I still get, like... Starflight and Starflight 2 is one of the uh, series that people who aren't big Let's Play viewers in general, but they'll go check out that those videos sometimes because they have nostalgia for those games. But they will write and with varying degrees of like you know being polite and nice about it and being dickish about it, they'll write and tell me things I'm doing wrong. Uh, somebody wrote and told me to pronounce Shinium differently or Shinium, um, even though it's a fictional thing. They they wrote to me and told me I was pronouncing it wrong, but they also they said, hey, first, it was interesting. They said, first off, thanks for the video. Thanks for the videos. Like, they, they kind of knew they were going to say something dickish, so they wanted to start off by being nice. It's like, hey, first off, thanks for the video. But could you please do a full sensor scan every time you enter a system? I get so frustrated when you skip past a system and don't even look around and you miss a colonizable planet because you're on your way to do something else when it's so quick and easy to just do a system scan. And I'm thinking as I read this comment, I recorded that LP like five years ago. <laughs> Is it too late? <laughs> anyway, comment Jim Dandy. Jim Dandy to rescue. Jim Dandy to rescue. Jim Dandy to rescue. Go, Jim Dandy. Go, Jim Dandy. I do not know any of the words of that song to actually sing anything other than that refrain, so apologies for that. There's an alien deposit. An unusual combination of elements, but they hold together reasonably well. Potentially difficult for a novice to navigate. But Super Kalo is like the best. Or is he even the navigator? He is the navigator. Uh, Suvi is the science officer. So she hangs out on the on the deck looking at instruments and stuff, but is in fact not the navigator. Tobonur. Help me, Obi-Wan Kanoboski. So that's convenient. We kind of scroll that comment out. Like, I was just thinking, hey, it's interesting. They have different... They've charted it out so that you can travel from any any object in a system to another. And it really makes it feel real and spacey. But then I'm like, no. The camera always kind of pans so whatever the object is that you're at disappears. And then you just chart a course. And I'm, I was trying to make a point about how the visuals are working, but I've lost it. I actually see the anomaly I'm supposed to be noticing, but... Satellite detected. Oh, this cat satellite appears to be monitoring the remains of the research outpost. It is easily disabled. So we gain 60 Helios research data. And if we back out a level, I can read the description of the planet, which I didn't bother to read. Evidence of a cat research outpost sits atop one of the Tobonor's glaciers. The outpost has been dismantled. However, anything the cat found out is long since gone. Travel to the Mustafar system, a name I remember from the Star Wars prequels, although I have no idea what actually happened there. I just remember the Emperor saying Mustafar system. I am a dead moon, a character in Kagero Deception 2. Pass 61, pass means peace beneath its surface of rock and nitrogen. Glaciers past 61 may contain buried oceans of liquid or frozen water. Oh, the other thing, <coughs> it's weird, like two completely different people complained about, um, oh, never mind, oh, there is no anomaly detected, or two completely different and separate people complained about Mass Effect, or Starflight, vaguely, by uh, one of them chiming in and saying, it really isn't necessary for you to give zany voices to the different alien species. <laughs> and I didn't respond, but I'm like, oh, come on, yes, it was. That was most of the fun. I guess they just didn't want me voice acting the aliens at all. I'm like, we'll find some other playthrough of Starflight. Starflight 2. Trade Roots Glad, that'd be one. Novolori. Novolori's bright and sinister. 
coloration, sinister, earned it the name of a mythical and uh, Angaran bogeyman. Multiple ships have disappeared in its vicinity, adding to its mystique. Neat. All right, let's hurry up and get this mission going so I can... I guess I can say loyalty mission part one is the video title. I don't have to think of anything snappy. Even though I'm, the video is two-thirds of the way over before we even get there. Because we spent most of it looking at planets and playing football. I remember Roger. when somebody... Signal oh. source is near a volatile volcano. I don't see a clear place to land. Wow, PB's right. Whatever's given off that signal is special. <laughs> so special? I'll try to find a safe spot. I'll try to find the G spot if it exists. Sorry. Um, I just flashed back to someone asking me a trick question in high school about what's the Spanish word for various sports, and then they said soccer. Like they, they they gave me Spanish words and told me to guess what they meant in English, and one of them was, and they said football, and I said football, and they said no, that's football americano. <laughs> like they tricked me. Anyway, past ten. Past means peace. An inhospitable, sta unstable volcanic planet. There is evidence of a large-scale remnant complex, mostly buried beneath the surface. The mysterious signal that PB discovered emanates from a section of this complex. So we are forced to take PB. Should we take a little break from Korra? And if so, who should we bring? Eh, you know what the hell? Let's just bring. Let's bring uh, Liam. He's already all decked out and ready to go. Insert disc two. Just kidding. Where's PB? Who knows? What do you mean? Don't you mean where's Cora? That's who you usually bring. Earth to PB. PB report. PB to the airlock. Pronto. Pronto, huh? Sounds serious. Actually, could you come here, please? My place. Straight away. <sighs> Callow. Tonto, Frankenstein, hey, and Tarzan. To I mean, Pronto. Nothing yet. Might take a while. Okay, PB, be right there. Straight away. Mm -hmm. Now I wish I had taken uh, Cora. I won't bite. What's this about? Kala won't find a safe place to land the Tempest. We got trick trapped. You've gone too far. No, I, I think I'll do this again with Cora because now I'm really curious. But I'll say never a dull Safety moment. We're doing for real. Be kidding. This crosses the line, PB. No. Well, now it's dangerous and awkward. There was no other choice. The Tempest can't go where we need to be, and you can't get there from the ground. This is the only way in. In? Where exactly are we going? Well, how do we get back out? More importantly, PB, where are we going? It's not my fault the signal's coming from inside a volcano. And we should land on stable ground, assuming my subterranean scans are accurate. And the impact doesn't alter trajectory too severely. And... And tell me you have a plan for getting back to the Tempest. Is that a thing? We came all the way to another galaxy with no plan for getting back home. Well, yeah, but right. this galaxy isn't Brace a volcano. Me. Now I'm curious as to what Cora says because they hate each other. So, I'm sorry. Uh, are you mad, Ryder? I'm mad because I'm going to do it again and be less of a douche. Mad is the smallest word for what I am. I'm angry. That's five letters. All right, so let's go. Is this going to let us choose our squad mates again? Because if not, I'll be annoyed. I'm hoping it lets us choose our squad. But it might be I just loaded from exactly where we were. Yep. I just loaded from exactly where we were. So 
So let's load the last autosave before that. Oh man, did I just. I'm not gonna have to go redo a bunch of shit where we scanned a bunch of shit just because I wanted to see Korra say like two words to PB. This is so not gonna be worth it. Didn't I go through and play the beginning of like one of the missions where Tali and uh, Ashley are both on our squad multiple times to see different people talk about different things and just it totally wasn't worth it? Yeah. Yeah, we uh, we didn't do. Oh, never mind. We did some of it at least. Well, we didn't do this, so we'll have to redo this. Even though there's nothing there, as I recall. Scan it. You get the description. It says it's got mystique. And then we come over here. And I suppose I could just uh, watch YouTube videos of other people recording every possible variation on this. Like, do I care what happens if you bring Drac or um, signal sources near a volatile volcano or Jaw? See a clear place to land. Wow, PB's right. Whatever's given off that signal is special. Prep your team. So special. Try to find a safe spot. All right, so let's prep our team. Let's go ahead and switch over to Cora. Even though I was going to take a little break from Korra, but now it's like time for her and Phoebe to get pissy with each other, which is always amusing. Because, hey, boys like watching girls fight. That's because we're cavemen. No. Game designers certainly like having uh, lots of these kinds of rivalries, but I suppose it's only fair since they're also full of like dudes who hate each other's guts. So... We'll just get the opening cinematic... And uh, I probably can't justify Maybe. calling this part one, but... Probably somewhere she shouldn't be. Well, that's funnier than what Liam said, I suppose. Earth to PB. We'll say that instead of PB reporter this time. Wake up, PB. Your mystery signal awaits. Um, uh, right. Okay, yeah. Actually, could you come here, please? My place. Straight away? So really not that different. Gallo. Hey, any luck finding a place to land? Nothing yet. Might take a while. Okay, PB, be right there. So what happens if Cora doesn't come you with us? We only hands, have. I'll grab her feet. <laughs> PB, we we'll only have two squad Back members. Here. I won't bite. What's this about? Kala won't find a safe place to land the Tempest. <laughs> Whoa! He sure does take a goofy pose there. And safety first. Cora, no reaction to this? I'll give you plenty of time to say something. No? Okay. You keep me on my toes, PB. You're both crazy. Oh, now I wonder what she says I'm if you chose the negative response. Fun. The Tempest can't go where we need to be, and you can't get there from the ground. This is the only way in. In? Where exactly are we going? PB, where are we going? It's not my fault the signal's coming from inside a volcano. And we should land on stable ground, assuming my subterranean scans are accurate. And the Turn impact out. doesn't alter trajectory too severely. And, and tell me you have a plan for getting back to the Tempest. Is that a thing? We came all the way to another galaxy with no plan for getting all right, back Alright, so home. this was definitely not worth going through twice, right. but... Brace for impact. We're gonna die now. I don't see how the... How, why can the Tempest land here? So, uh, um, seems like plenty big. Are you mad, Ryder? I'm totally excited about this. I'm hyped. I'm not mad, PB. Wow, that was really lame. Both answers to that question were pretty lame, actually. All right, so with the lameness, um the very worst of the lameness possibly behind us, let's call it a video, and when we come back, we will uh, begin PB's loyalty mission in earnest. On the Mysterious JG, I want to thank Ernest Goes to Camp. On the Mysterious JG, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I hope you'll be back next time for more of Mass Effect Andromeda. And if you're still with me at this point, thanks.